here we have another proving question of the trigonometry based on the concept we learned in the previous video that is uh, the trigonometric ratios of the sum and the difference of the two angles and uh, exactly same you know here the question we have cos a plus b times cos a minus b cos uh, i pronounce for the cosine i'm sorry for that is equal with cosine of square a minus sine square b all right is equal with again cosine square b minus sine square a the quite similar type of the question we recently did in the previous video it was sine a plus b times sine a minus b all right and what we did we just put the value of sine a plus b a minus b and the question was requiring everything into the sine then later we convert all the cosine into the sine all right and we finally get the answer so the same process we're gonna apply here uh, we're gonna we're gonna first put the value put the formula for the uh, cosine of a plus b and cosine of a minus b and in the first term we need everything into the form of cosine and in the second term we need everything to the sine so we'll convert uh, uh, everything of the second term into the sine and then similarly we'll need to convert uh, the given cosine into the sine and sine into the cosine right later that's the second case let's first deal till here all right so so let me first write the question. Our left hand side, uh, our left hand side is cosine of a plus b times cosine of a minus b. Now let's put the value of cosine of a plus b. And the formula for the cosine of a plus b is uh, cosine of a times cosine of b. And now when it is plus here, we need to write here minus. And when we have here minus, we need to write here plus. All right, later we'll discuss about that. So here we have now plus, so I'll write here minus. All right, and it is now sine of A times sine of B. All right, and now let's write the formula for this uh, cosine of A minus B. And the formula for the cosine of A minus B is, it's the same thing, right? But just, just this, this sine will convert into the plus. That's it. This will be plus. That's it. All right, so cosine of A times cosine of b minus all right sine of a times sine of b all right so look at here now as i told you when we have here plus we have here minus all right and when we have here minus we have here plus and rest of these are same you know this quantity in my green box green circle is same all right and uh, the quantity in my this white circle is same so as i told you in the previous video it's it's same like a minus b times a now let's put the formula for this cosine of a minus b and the formula for the cosine of a minus b is cosine of a cosine of b plus now see plus right uh, sine of a times sine of b so as i told you when we have here plus we'll have here minus and when you have here minus we'll have here plus all right so that is only the basic difference and rest of these all are same look at here in this in this uh, red circle the thing in this red circle is cos a times cos b all right and uh, the thing in this pink color box is sine a times sine b here also sine a times sine b so how you're looking actually you know this is this is something like uh, a minus b all right times a plus b all right so the formula for the a minus b a plus b is 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 a square minus b square so the same thing i'm going to do here what i will do i will first uh i will first do this square of this red color minus square of this pink color all right so here it's going to be now square of this red color that's that's cos a times cos b whole square minus square of this red color i mean i mean this the square of this pink color that is sine a times sine b whole square so i can write now this is cos square a times cos square b minus sine square a times sine square b now here we come uh, as a conversion like like in the previous video when we need everything into the sign then what we had done the cosine we had converted into the sine form so here in this case you know in this case uh, in this case we need the first term as a cosine and the second term as a sine so we'll convert this thing into the into the uh, cosine and we'll convert this into the sine all right how let's see now see here we have cos square a right at the first term so we have here cos square a we didn't have any problem so i'm gonna write here cos square a but uh, we don't have this cosine square cosine square of b right so 
I don't have here cosine square of b. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this cosine square of b into the 1 minus sine square b. All right. And now uh, in, in, in the answer of the second uh, second term, we have, you know, we have sine square b means we, we need this. All right. So first I'm writing here sine square b. But we don't need this sine square a. So what we we gonna do with this? We can convert this into the uh, into the sine form, cosine form. All right. So it will be uh, cosine square of a. All right. Now by doing so, you know what will happen? This will multiply cos square sine square, and this will be sine square b cos square a. So we can easily cancel up. So now the thing is going to be now cos square a minus cos square a times sine square b, and then this minus multiply this one. So it will be minus sine square b and this minus and minus will be plus and this it will uh, this is going to be sine square b times cos square a and now look at the question properly see here minus cos, cos square a times sine square b and this plus cos square a times sine square b means these two terms will get cancelled and we'll get here cos square a minus sine square b and this is our middle hand side asked by the question to prove look at here cos square cos square a minus sine square b right so same we have here cos square a minus sine square b this is very simple i hope you understand and now we need again uh, first we need cos square b and then second term we need sine square a all right so what we're going to do let's convert this cos square a into the sine form so what will happen it will be 1 minus sine square a and this sine square b will convert to 1 minus cos square b and now when I will open the bracket all right it will be 1 minus sine square a and now minus and then this minus will multiply this minus it will be plus and it will be cos square b and now this time this minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel up and the final answer we're gonna get cos square b first time writing cos square b and then I'm writing minus sine square a and this is the right hand side required by the question look at here all right it's cos square b minus sine square a. So all depends on the conversion, the way how we convert and where to convert. You should know where, where exactly, what is the time to convert each other and how to convert. So for that, you know, you, you should uh, you should uh, see the question properly, what you need and uh, how to get that. All right, that's that's it, and nothing more is there. All right, uh, you need to do a lot of practice. You know, trigonometry is really interesting subject. If you if you have the all basic concepts and if you're understanding each and everything and if you're doing a very good practice then you can be the master in trigonometry really it's really interesting you'll have fun to solve the problem from the trigonometry it's really interesting but to get interested your basics should be clear all right uh, I hope uh, you're enjoying these videos and uh, you're getting the concept and see you in the next video with next question and next concept all right bye bye